Hi guys, welcome back to Classy's Kitchen and today we will be making brown stew fish. Now this is my actually first time making this dish so pretty excited to see how this is going to come out. I have the fish here. Um, this is a red snapper, pretty large. I already seasoned it. I'm going to let you guys know the seasons that I used. Um, just because I like to let my meats or whatever it is that I'm making marinate. So, I seasoned this and left it to marinate already overnight. So, there's that. I cut it in half. It is gutted. Um, I'm going to be using green pepper, red pepper, and onion. That's what's in that bowl. I have thyme. I have saison, but the saison is not for the fish. I'm actually going to be making cabbage as well, and I put saison in there. Um, you probably won't see me making much of the cabbage in this video. If you guys would like me to make a video on how I make my cabbage, I will do so. No problem. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. Um, but that's what the saison is there for. Not for the fish. Today's video is about this fish. I make cabbage billions of times. I could do that with my eyes closed. Um, I'm going to be... So, I seasoned up the fish already, as I said. I used garlic powder... Uh, onion powder, uh, black pepper, and adobo to season it up. Um, for the dish, I'm going to also be using a little bit of browning and some ketchup. Now, over here, I have another bowl of onions because that's for my cabbage, which I already chopped up. I already chopped the veggies because I just figured it'll make it easier. I also have a little bit of sugar here. Um, which I'll be using also for the cabbage, not for the fish. But for the fish, we have, not this guy, we have our seasonings and our fish. So, as I said, it's already clean, seasoned, and set to marinate. So, on to the next step. Okay, so I have a pan, um, a salsa pan. I put a little bit of oil in the bottom, not a lot like I'm going to deep fry the fish, but I'm going to fry it. Um, it is fish, so it don't take that long. So I'm, And plus, I'm going to fry it, and then after I fry it, I'm going to brown stew it. So I'm going to let it fry on each side, and this, this is a really big fish. So I'm going to give it about five minutes on each side to fry before we go on to the next step. This fish is so big. So excited to see what's going to happen. And then in my next pot, I'm going to be getting my cabbage started. Alright guys, so it is frying and popping all over the place. I feel like I may have put a tad bit too much oil, but that's okay. Before I um, go on to the next step, I'll get some of the oil out. So now I'm going to flip this bad boy over. It's so heavy. And I don't want to splash myself. Oh. Right. Now, give it a go for about four minutes or so on this side then we'll take it out and we'll do the next step this one's still a little pink here probably could have left that a little bit longer so actually I'm going to yeah give it it's five minutes or so on this side and then flip them back over I just want this pink portion here to be a little more brown like this side um, the head is looking good this probably going to be so good I've had this dish before I just personally have never cooked it I love this dish I probably should have bought more than one fish I only bought one fish because it's very large um, I don't think the camera is doing justice for how big this fish is but it's huge so I only bought one and I'm only making it for myself so we're going to give this a go, and we will be back. Alright, guys. So now, whoa, 
you want to flip it. You should only have to flip it once. Because you don't want to break the fish up because it's very delicate. Uh, but I said I wanted it to be a little bit more brown on this side. This, this is going crazy. skin is starting to fall off. I'm actually going to take them out now. Because it's popping crazy. I'm going to take them out because I don't want it to start to break up. not done guys the fish is going to go back into the pot so I'm just going to set this off to the side it's going to go back in the pot when, after we make our gravy and everything because we're going to brown stew it but the first step is just to fry it up a little bit now I feel like I have too much oil in my pot so I'm actually going to get rid of some of this oil so, see, that's how much oil I have now. Got rid of some of the oil. Let me get this flame back on here. And then right into this same pot that the fish just came out is going to go the vegetables. Now, guys, I love, love, love cooked peppers and onions so I use a lot um, this is actually one pepper one green pepper one red pepper and one like medium sized onion so we're gonna allow mix that in there and we're gonna allow this to um saute a little bit actually now that I'm done with flipping the fish for now let's get my favorite spatula and flip the fish with this bad boy but I do still love this spatula so I'm going to add in some thyme now in there and this is the beginning to making the gravy you guys for the brown stew so now that that's all in there I'm going to allow it to saute and cook down so we're just going to cover this up and let it do its thing and we'll be all right, guys. So now, on to our next step. So I let that cook down a bit, and it smells so good. I love, love, love peppers and onions. Absolutely love it. So now I'm gonna add in two cups of water. Or maybe, maybe I'll do a cup and a half first. Let me see. I have it measured. So a cup and a half of water actually. Mix that in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper in there. Not too much, because again, I like spicy, but not spicy to where I can't taste my food. 
don't enjoy that. I'm going to add ketchup. Um, with the ketchup, I want to say use to your discretion. All of the ingredients that I use is to your discretion. You could always, of course, add something, take something away, or change your measurements up. Um, I'm just going to give this a little thicker consistency and mix this in there. If I had to guess, I'm not really good with cooking things with measurements. I'm very good with eyeing things out, um, tasting it here and there. Sometimes, most times, if it's, especially if it's something I cooked before, I usually don't even have to taste it. I just kind of know. There's that, and I'm going to add some browning. The browning is going to give it that brown color, hence brown stew, but not a whole lot. Not that much. And you can see already the color is changing. It's getting darker. My time is just like ready to jump out the pot. Every stir. There's a stir. The recipe that um, I'm actually following, they also used pimento seeds. I don't have any, so I'm not using any. But you can feel free to do so. Yeah, let's see, now I got that brown color. Smells so good. I'm just gonna make sure it's mixed all in there pretty good. Everything around the sides to the middle. I'm gonna allow this to cook down again and bring it to a nice little boil. And then I'll be adding the fish. But once I add the fish, because it'll break up, because it's so delicate, um, I'm not gonna be doing much stirring, if any at all. So, I want to make sure I get all my stirring in now, get everything mixed up. Alright guys, so I'm going to cover her up and let her do her thing. And we'll be back. Alright guys, and we're back. That smells so freaking good. Oh, you see the color? Got a pretty good consistency. Mix this around a little bit. I like this. I think I like this spatula because I can like get into the pot and not damage my pots. Because I love my pots. All right, so now I'm gonna add. The fish back inside. So there go head and there go tail. So, what I'm gonna do for this next step, guys, get my spoon. I'm gonna get some of those vegetables from the bottom up to the top of the fish. Look at that coloring. Get some of that on there too. So I want to be really careful when doing so because I don't want to break up my fish. And I'm going to do the same thing for the tail. Get some of that gravy, that gravy goodness, and coloring on there. Yo, these fish are so freaking big. The recipe that I'm following, fish was not this big. <laughs> so, hopefully, it come out just as good. I'm sure it will. Oh, 
top of that all in there. So I'm going on ahead. Look at the fish mouth. <laughs> Put an onion, some onions and peppers over there. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all covered. So now I'm going to cover it again and let it cook down for another, uh, about another 10 minutes. Because it's fish and it don't take much to cook through. And we did already um, fry it, so start the cooking of most of it. So when we come back, we should be good and ready to plate it. All right, y'all, it's been our 10 minutes, and I'm excited. So let's see what this is looking like. Whoa, for the steam. So it's looking pretty good. Go ahead and turn that thing off because she is ready. That looks so good. Guys, want to see my cabbage? And like I said, I didn't make um, this video about the cabbage because it wasn't. It's a brown stew fish video. But again, if you guys want me to make a video on the cabbage, I am willing to do so. Just let me know. Let your girl know in the comments down below. Bars. <laughs> but here's my fish. Now I'm going to get it on a plate. So this is the plated resort resort <laughs> results guys it looks so yummy i threw the tail on the plate and this is what i was talking about earlier how big this fish is like it stretched from one end of the plate to the other let's give her a little twirl oh jeez, it's gonna be so good and that's my cabbage that i have steamed down i don't like my cabbage where it almost feels raw but i don't like it mushy either so it's a pretty nice consistency steamed down with the onions so i will leave um this recipe in the description below if you have any questions leave a comment below um and like i said before you could always add something take something away it's to your discretion guys this is just the recipe that i came across that i decided that i was going to create and i can't wait to eat it i would taste it on camera but you know quarantine life so your girl's hot and behind this camera yes i am if you have not already guys please 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 like this video subscribe comment and share so that everyone can see what's going on over here let me know if you have other recipes that you would like me to cook. Um, even if it's something that I have never made before, I'm willing to try new things, obviously. Until next time, bye.